I'm going to give you a very simple, easy to understand Bitcoin technical analysis. I will be telling you exactly why I remain bullish. I am not in any short trades and I will not short in this range until my higher price targets have been hit. And in this video, I will be telling you those higher price targets, the buy the dip opportunities that we continue to have until those higher price targets have been hit. And, you know, really why I just remain bullish and very confident. I think if you've been following this channel, you know, let's say over the years, <laughs> I do have high confidence in my trades. But really, if you've been following along for the past few months, right, I've been making predictions, but those predictions are playing out Oh, very nicely indeed. My latest prediction still sits with another move to the upside, of course. So let me run you through the past few days since my last video, just so you can understand the context. And I'll give you a bit of insight into that. Uh, moving on to using those insights and context to why I still remain looking for higher price targets, even if we have a dip first, absolutely still expecting bigger, higher prices to come on Bitcoin. So yeah, let's just get into it, right? Um, so, yeah, of course, the latest prediction that I'm still trading off of right now all stemmed back, okay, from earlier in the month when I made this prediction where we were looking for that high, low, high, low. And of course, each step of the way we got that with the high off the naked point of control, the pullback to the range point of control, the high above $37,000, then we're looking for that pullback. And we actually pulled back perfectly to the range point of control, okay? So each step of the way, that from the original prediction, OK, I was originally looking for it to maybe come down to the lower daily. But as time and price went on, it seemed more likely to make that higher low because, you know, I really am expecting highs above 38K. And so we were given this awesome buy the dip opportunity, uh, which really stems off of once again, the range point of control from that range point of control. We of course got a really nice bounce. And, you know, I'm telling my team once again, remaining bullish for new highs. Viewpoint is still the same. Every single dip we're getting is a long opportunity. So, of course, that latest dip, another long opportunity. OK, you know, I can see you can just show you I'm making, you know, I'm, I'm really putting in a very conscious effort to be clear. You know, no, there's no sort of I might do this, might do that or, you know, <laughs> just like non-confident guy. I'm just coming in here telling you exactly what I'm looking for, being very precise. So there's no confusion and just making my bias very you know, obvious, long and chill, no short trades, still looking for the new yearly highs. So after we got that range bounce off a range point of control, we actually made our way up for a double top. After this double top, we got a pullback for another long opportunity, which was for a new fresh daily level that we had. And that new fresh daily actually sat really nicely on the CC Fibonacci. So and you just come on, like, um, you know, you're giving some pretty nice long the dip opportunities. OK, I'm more of a, you know, I'm definitely more of a swing trader right now. OK, so I'm going for the much bigger trades, but there's lots of day trades to be had in here, too. Uh, so, yeah, my plan and target does, you know, as I've been telling my team, right? Um, you know, I, I still am looking for these new yearly highs, long and chill, no short trades here. Being very transparent to my team and, and even here on YouTube, to be honest, uh, exactly what I'm looking for. And, you know, I've always, I will put, you know, being, you know, this transparent and honest with you puts me in a position where, you know, I will have to hold up my hands if I am wrong. You know, how could I be wrong on this trade? Let's say we put in this lower high, lower high, lower high. And I know there are a lot of people shorting it right now, right? So you're looking at this channel. And people are looking at this with uh, the lower highs, okay, potential that head and shoulders, and they're looking for this drop to the downside, you know, thought process is, okay, we've got a small invalidation stop loss, and we're looking for a very big drop. I'm actually looking for all those people shorting with their stop loss above the high to be stopped out. Uh, that's that's my trade and my, my, my bias that they are going to be stopped out on the rise to the upside. But where am I wrong? You know, let's just say we fall down greatly from here. You know, in the next few days, we're trading at $30,000 and we have not hit my higher price target. And that will mean I was wrong on this call and this prediction. I was wrong. And, you know, that will cost me a lot of money because I've got a, a lot of money on this trade. And if this prediction fails, you know, I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll lose from this. You know, I'm putting myself in this position because I well, I have really high confidence and there's nothing in the order flow. There's nothing on the charts that make me think I'm going to be wrong. Of course, this is trading. It is a game of probabilities. But, you know, over the years, <laughs> I've got very good at recognizing the signs of when to be bullish, when to be bearish, looking for strength, looking for weakness. And, you know, reading that order flow really just leads me to believe once again, the people shorting now, they are going to be stopped out and we will be hitting my higher price targets. Um, so let me explain a little bit 
why and where exactly, I suppose, where those higher price targets are. I've, I've talked about it in the past, but of course, every day we get new data and this new data really can help us redefine and, you know, home in even closer on the targets that we have. As always, I just like to do a few, um, you know, a few little, little announcements here before I get onto that section. First one is more of a, a positive, or you know, I love to share that positivity and, and keep people inspired and and happy. And that is the first one, of course. Just a little, you know, love to see these types of messages. And for me, I just want to, you know, emphasize this that I really feel that you know myself and Chart Champions are unrecognizable from a few years back. Okay, we've always always been regarded as as having a good service, but really this year in particular, uh, 2023, you know, over the past few months, we have we've changed a lot, right? We've we've really we've really changed from the ground up, and I feel that, um, and not only my field, but also the the results of the members, the positive feedback, the the service and level of coaching we give is now miles better than before. Um, so you know, people coming back and joining for me, that's you know a really good sign that. You know, we actually went through a lot of struggles in in the start of 2023. End of 2022, it was like a real rough period. And uh, during that rough period, you know, we had a, a lot of uh, hardship and a lot of lessons to be learned. And and as we were, you know, really going off track, you know, I come back in, held my head up high, hold, hold you know, hold my team and myself to that high level and, and taking responsibility for our failings. And, you know, I've really come in here and put in a lot of hard work and effort to change the ship totally. Uh, to you know going on to this once again upward tra trajectory that we love to be on and you know that stems from hard work and you know remaining humble and, and always saying we can improve we can be better and you know that is that's the heart of chart champions right so yeah I, that's uh my first thing i wanted to say that you know we got a lot of people coming back and you know the positive feedback really uh really warms myself <laughs> my heart and uh, you know makes me really realize yeah we are doing you know we're doing something great here and the next thing Actually, I'll save this for the next video. That's that's what I wanted to say. You know, if you want to get involved, then you know where to do it. Chartchampions.com. Of course, we've got a bunch of new coaches now. We've got Rivalry, Severin, and of course, Igor, as always. You know, they're really doing high level, really good standards. You know, this is really professional traders. They're, they're doing a great job. And, you know, I just want to give them a shout out. So you can get all of that, of course, via our website, chartchampions.com. And with that said, I want to move back over onto the charts. And this is, you know, where I'm looking for my next price target, right? So I've made it pretty clear. I'm looking for new yearly high. So that, that you know, surprise, surprise, sits above the high that was currently the yearly high of the 9th of November. From there, you know, I've already explained this in previous videos, but I always check the reaction. So what does that mean? We can see visual reactions, okay? Or we can look at for the order flow, more of a failed auction. OK, I love to be on the 30 minute chart for this. And this is where I'd be looking for like a swing failure pattern, which is where we come up and close back down. That is a very, you know, that is called a class as a bearish reaction. OK, you always have to remember, you can see a swing failure pattern into a higher low in continuation. And that's why if we see those type of moves, we have to have higher price targets. And, you know, we would, you know, I would naturally take a stop loss loss on that trade, that short trade if it gets stopped out and I'd look for my next level to the upside for that next potential, uh, you know, short trade around $40,000, right? And we're going up to around, in my opinion, 48000 to $50,000. So, you know, we've got some nice levels to be aware of on the way there. There's of course, not just a nothing and you know, there's no levels, but there's levels, but I love to make informed decisions. So I have my alert set. Okay. I'm going to look for that potential SFB. If I don't get that, I'll look for the failed auction. And if we do just get a clean breakout, which will be fine if it happens, right, then that's where I look towards, you know, the next price targets there around 40, 40K. So that's the way that I always trade. I use my uh, technical analysis. OK, I look at a bullish and a bearish picture as always. I then use that information to form one strong bias and prediction. My prediction and bias right now is, of course, bullish <clears throat> and new highs will come. And if we fall down from here, I, I'm going to take a big loss. But if I am correct with my prediction and we make new yearly highs, that's where I'll look for the reaction. <clears throat> Excuse me. From this reaction, we either get a bearish reaction and I will, of course, take a short trade or we get no bearish reaction. We get strength, continuation of the trend and we look for our next level to the upside. And that is how we do it. That's how I trade. And that's what I teach. You know, I've been teaching this for years now. And what I teach works. <laughs> you know, it's as simple as that. It works. If you, It's not, it's not like necessary. You know, I can make it seem pretty simple right on this video. But you have to remember what we teach does take, you know, years to study. But if you put in 
you know, that time and effort to really study all the material, you can absolutely become a great. And, you know, that just shows not only in our champions, but also, you know, we got a lot of people now uh, that have come into the group, learned from us and, you know, creating their own stuff. I mean, you know, I don't mind uh, people that have learned from me and went on to create their own channels. But I kind of laughed at this comment. Uh, most of the trading gurus are hidden members of Chart Champions, most of them copying my setups. So I just say this, if you want the best education and the setups first, you go direct to the source, right? Uh, if you want secondhand content, well, you can get it, of course, out there on the interwebs. But for us at Chart Champions, we're just going to remain focused on ourselves. And uh, that is why we're going to keep building, keep working the hardest and remaining focused on our plans, on our trades, and our goals as a team. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you know, if you ought to do, if you have, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I read them all, and uh, you now understand very clearly my bias, my prediction, my plans, okay? And if you want to see more details of how I get these plans, you know, how I'm really creating these biases from the ground up, then that's what you get taught via the membership here at Chart Champions, this gives you access to the whole platform. You know, we got competitions running, we got inbuilt journals, we got the best exchange deals you can get currently by BitMEX, okay, which we're liking to trade on. You got, of course, all the cheat sheets, the templates for Exus, Atto. You got everything that you need uh, to become successful, right? Including like the live trading, you know, all the new features that we've added in. So yeah, for me, that's a wrap here. I'm just going to say this. Thank you ever so much. If you want more, you know where to get it. It is the place to be. Uh, <laughs> again, listen to some other people's opinions, but you can check out the socials and all that. Uh, but right now, yeah, we really feel we are, uh, you know, absolutely on an upward trajectory and, you know, may it continue through 2024. I hope you all the best. Let's keep looking concentrated on our new targets and let's see if we do get a clean breakout or we get that um you know more of a failed auction bearish short trade setup uh so yeah i'm just going to say that i'm going to say thank you ever so much hope you've enjoyed and i will catch you in the next one cheers and goodbye